All right, I'm going to assume this was an honest packaging error and not uh, just plain stupidity by uh, Wim Air. Um, this is the tube that they shipped with the air handler. It is a two inch diameter. Um, the cutout, or sorry, the template states to use a two and three quarter inch cutout. Um, tried to fit this over the Freon lines. And I'm not sure how well you can see that, but uh, it's barely going to cover the just the two free on lines. Try to get the drain hose in. No way in hell that's happening. Especially not while I'm uh, holding an air handler over the top of my head. So went to Lowe's, got myself a uh, three inch piece of PVC, uh, three and a half inch OD, three inch ID, and uh, got myself a three and a half inch hole saw. So we're going to use the same uh, hole location, we're just going to make it bigger to uh, make my life easier. Um, if you end up with a 2 inch tube in your kit, don't even try to shove that stuff through there. Or whatever size tube you get, at least try to dry fit it first. Um, I'm glad I tested it first because if I already had that in and this air handler was over my shoulder, there was no way in hell that was going to happen. So. Hope this helps and uh, moving on with the install. Alright, I uh, shoved the pipe into the hole, traced a circle around the pipe on the inside of the house. Just going to cut that off with a sawzall. I only need the shorter side there. And uh, as far as the outside, I'm not too worried about flushing that out because it's going to have a rain cap over it anyways. So I'm just going to cut this thing off and uh, shove it in the hole. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's the uh, cut down piece of PVC alongside the one that came with it from the factory. So you can see significant difference. So uh, if you end up with a really small tube, go get yourself a bigger one. That's my advice. All right, the tube is installed. All right, the tube is installed. Uh, you may be able to see the downslope there. Uh, a lot of sunlight coming through it, even though it's raining like hell outside. So next step is to uh, fetch that air handler and slap it up on the wall and shove everything through that hole. All right, got the line set through the wall. That was a bit tricky, um, just because everything wanted to flop around a bit while it was going through. But got the line set control cables and drain line through the wall and a uh, unit is mounted inside the house. So now it's uh, line set time, yay. All right, uh, just proof the inside unit is really mounted. I'm gonna take a break and uh, run line sets.